Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to continue working on binomial ex expansion. So in this particular example, the binomial 2x plus 3 is raised to the fourth power, and we're, we're going to be using the shortcut. Okay. We'll start with 2x, and we're going to be raising this to the fourth power. And you keep doing that. Make sure you decrease the exponent by 1. So this 2x raised to the second power, then 2x raised to the, to the first power, and then 2x raised to the zero power. Now when you get to this number 3, you're going to reverse the pattern. So you start this time with 0, then 1, 2, 3, and then 4. Now, just like the previous examples, the first and last are going to be 1 as their coefficient. So we're not looking at the coefficients of each term. Again, the first and the last are going to be 1 all the time. Now, to get the next coefficient here, you'll be using these numbers. You multiply that 1 times 4, and you divide it by this exponent 0, but Add 1. So that's 4 over 1, which is a 4. And then this term, this coefficient here, you multiply this 4 and 3. <coughs> and then divide by this exponent 1 plus 1. So that's 12 over 2, which is 6. Now this term here, we obtain the coefficient by multiplying this 6 and 2. And then you divide it by this 2 plus 1. So that's 12 over 3, which is a 4. Now we got this one already, but we'll double check. So we multiply this 4 and 1. And then divide it by this 3 plus 1. So that's a 4 over 4, which is 1. Because this is a plus sign, that means all the, the terms in this expansion are going to be using the plus sign. Now we just have to clean this up, okay? So the first term will be 2x raised to the fourth power, and that is 16x to the fourth. So you make sure you distribute this for 2x. So 2x raised to the 4th is 16x to the 4th. Now this 3 to the 0 is 1. So that stays 16x to the 4th power. Okay, plus 2x to the 3rd is going to be 8. Now 8 times, 8 times 4 is 32 okay so this is again 2 to the third is 8 times 4 is 32 and then times 3 so 32 times 3 is gonna be 96 that's 96 x to the third plus Okay, this 2x to the second power is a is a 4x squared. 4x squared times 6 is 24x squared. And then times 9. So 4 times 6 is 24. 24 times 9. Be 6, 3. 9 times 2 is 18, so 216, <coughs> 216x squared. Okay, down here we have 27 for the 3 cube. Now 27 times 2 is 54 times 4. That's 54 times 4. It's going to be 216. So plus 200, 
16x. Okay, plus, okay, the last term is going to be 1 times 1. The 2x to the 0 is going to be 1. And then times 3 to the 4th, which is 81. Okay, so this is our final expansion for the 2x plus 3 to the 4th power. One more example, what if we had 2x minus 3y, say, to the third power? So again, we're going to start with 2x raised to the third power, then 2x to the second, 2x to the third, and then 2x to the zero. Then 2, and then 3y raised to the third power. Now for the coefficients, again, the first and the last are going to be 1. Now the next coefficient, we calculate the coefficient by multiplying with 1 and 3. Okay, divided by this 0 plus 1. Okay, this coefficient here, we get that by multiplying this 3 times 2, divided by this 1, plus 1. So that's a 6 over 2, which is a 3. Now we know that this is 1, so we'll just check. 3 times 1, this is 3 times 1, divided by this number 2, plus 1. So that's a 3 over 3, which is really 1. Now, this is a difference. It's a minus. So when the sign is a minus, we just alternate the signs beginning from positive, first term, and then the next term is negative, and then positive, and then negative. Okay, so the remaining step is just to simplify and clean this up. Now, 2x cubed is 2 to the third, x to the third. So you distribute the 3, it's going to give us 8x cubed. Now the 3y to the 0 is just going to be 1. Okay, minus, now 2x squared is a 4. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times 3 is 36. It's 36x squared. Okay, plus... Okay, this 3y to the second power is 9y squared. So that's a 9 times 2 is 18 times 3 is 54. So that's a 54x times y squared. Okay, so that's xy squared minus 2x to the 0 is 1 times 3y cubed is 27y cubed. Right, so this will be our final answer over here. I hope you learned something from this uh, video. Thank you for watching.